In this video, we'll write the balanced net ionic equation for AlNO3 3 plus Na2S. This is aluminum nitrate plus sodium sulfide. First thing we need to do with net ionic equations, we have to balance that molecular equation. I've already balanced the molecular equation here. If you need help, there's a link in the description on how to do that. So we have a balanced molecular equation. Next, we write the state for each substance. If you know your solubility rules, nitrates are very soluble. They dissolve, dissociate into their ions. Sodium compounds as well, very soluble. When we get to this aluminum sulfide. Sulfides in general, they're not soluble. There are some exceptions like sodium sulfide or potassium sulfide, but aluminum sulfide, that's insoluble. And because of that, it's gonna be a solid. It won't dissolve, we just say solid. When these react, this falls to the bottom of the test tube in a precipitation reaction. We said that sodium compounds and nitrates, they're very soluble, so that'll dissolve and dissociate. So we have the states now for each substance. We now split the strong electrolytes into their ions, and that'll give us the complete ionic equation. Aluminum, that will have a three plus ionic charge, and the nitrate, the whole thing is one minus. Good one to remember. So we have two aluminum ions, and I won't write the states right now. Let's do that at the end. Plus three of these nitrate ions. And then sodium, that's in group one. That'll have a one plus. The sulfide ion is two minus. Two times three, that gives us six sodium ions. And then we have the sulfide ion. Actually, we have three sulfide ions. And these are the reactants in our net ionic equation. For the products, in net ionic equations, we don't split solids apart. We keep them together. So we're just going to write Al2S3. That'll be a solid. Then for the sodium nitrate, we have a positive and a negative. So we have six sodiums, just like in the reactants, plus six nitrates. And actually, I see there's a bit of a problem. I made a mistake. It's three times two. So this shouldn't be three. This should be six. So we should have the six nitrates here in the reactants. Now that we have the complete or total ionic equation, we need to cross out spectator ions. They're on both sides. So as I look at the reactants, I see those six nitrates and I have six nitrates here. If I had nitrates on both sides and the numbers were different, I'd be pretty careful. I'd want to check this. Probably would have caught my error there as well. So I have six nitrates, reactants and products. Six sodium ions, reactants and products. But what's left, that's the net ionic equation for aluminum nitrate plus sodium sulfide. I'll clean it up, write the states, we'll have our net ionic equation. And this is the balanced net ionic equation for AlNO3 3 plus Na2S. You can see that charge, that balances out. We have 2 times 3 plus, that's 6 plus. 3 times 2 minus is 6 minus. That adds up, gives us a net charge of 0. This is a neutral compound net charge of zero. And the atoms, they're balanced as well. Earlier, I made that mistake where I didn't have six nitrates. I'd catch that here because if that was the case, this wouldn't work out for charge and it wouldn't work out for the number of atoms. This is Dr. B. Thanks for watching.